Far more than just airports are affected by this outage. CBS 17's Gilad Malamud is live in Raleigh at the DMV with what people are experiencing there. Gilad. Yeah, the DMV is another place that's impacted by these outages. You can see there's a small group of people gathered outside the office here on Spring Forest Road right now waiting because there's not much the DMV can do for them right now. A spokesperson says both the driver's license offices and plate agencies are not able to see people due to the Microsoft and CrowdStrike outage. The DMV says it's monitoring the situation along with the state's Department of Information Technology and that it will resume service once the global outage is repaired. I asked the spokesperson what people should do if they have an appointment today. He says the DMV's protocol is to try and reach out to everyone to reschedule those appointments. One man I spoke to has been here since 7 a.m. and is trying to wait out the outage. He understands there's not much the DMV can do. We saw that it was bigger than just the DMV, so it was really out of their control. Now, so it was up to us. Some people left. Some people didn't wait it out. They just left. Essential services like 911 are not impacted by this in Raleigh and Wake County. A spokesperson for Wake County says IT is working to fix their government computers. The county did activate the emergency operations center to a level three to coordinate the response to the outages. And in a statement, a spokesperson for Governor Roy Cooper says that the state's Department of Information Technology is working through the steps to try and fix this as the vendor gives them information about how to do that. Live in Raleigh, you want Milan at CBS 17 News. You know, it, it's repetitive and it's trite, but the only thing you can say is what a mess. It is an absolute mess affecting banks, too. I mean, mm -hmm. really just everything at this point. Gilad, thank you. And hopefully it is resolved quickly.